All right, we are back. We were talking to this guy. Don't you ever get tired of sitting there? Nope. Painful splinters keep things interesting. Now, what can I do for you? Stop staring at me. I can't help it. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. Fine. That'll be all for now. Well then, I don't think there's anything much to do here about. So let's go back to our car. We could ride the cable car, I suppose. Look at him walk. This takes forever. But I'd rather explore the mysteries of the love tunnel. Because we now have what we need. I think this is the proverbial ugly swan that used to be a beautiful duckling. <laughs> Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Yippee! Alright, let's do this. Let's head into the tunnel of love. Let's use this flashlight. Ooh, there's a dead guy. Fascinating. A mummy and a control panel. Can I use that control panel? No. I did it wrong. I'm gonna come back more off the ride. Tunnel of Love again. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. Okay. Well, looks like we're flashlights already equipped. There's the missing janitor. And there's the fuse box. Oh, sure, now it lingers. Max on fuse box. That's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. I should have tried it sooner. Well, let's try that again. All right, let's see if we can't get the timing down this time. Use flashlight. Use max. Well, he enjoys himself. I can't use these things together. Anything we can take? Anything in that bucket? Just another random act of violence. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. All right. Just a sec. All right, I'm a little under the weather. I didn't want to cough this. Yeah, I didn't want to cough on camera. No, use... Can I use her? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Can I use him? Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. <coughs> I'll never shave again. <laughs> you never did. You're a rabbit. You don't shave. Well, rabbity thing. Whoa. There's some kind of apartment back here. This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like at the bowling alley. And a guy with a big nose. Now just spud us in his native habitat. We do have a favored snack of couch potatoes. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Too much information, Max. Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. Good lord. 
Shut up. For God's sake, just shut up! No Look, kidding. I just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... That's great, kid. Bigfoot where can we dances? find your uncle? I don't know. Watch your feet. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. <laughs> so if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll I have some of that. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why, Why do you have a tell key? us now? Because I'm hungry. Here, I thought you might like some candy. We have it with us by odd coincidence. Thanks. Because my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. All right, I'm awesome. Couch potato. That's a key. That is a crowbar. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. A story! <laughs> Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it yesterday? like it was yesterday. Ah. It's not widely known, Blech. but Trixie had fallen love. in love with Bruno. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent that and neck. read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. So she was just guessing? She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. <laughs> self-mutilated parody of nature. I think she's delusional. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Ew. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. Aha! Uh -huh. She made the fire breather to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. So it was a love Flambe story all along. took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. So he was behind it. Hell of a story, ain't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> is there anything else you can tell us? Hey, Spud. What? No, I don't want to hear that again. What the heck are you, anyway? I'm a mole man. A mole Figure man? Figure it out. I think he's a mole man, Sam. Okay. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. You're darn right I can, because I already found the uh, the exit switch. There. That should get things running again. Now we can head out of here. Alright. Interesting. Alright, we got a crowbar. So let's use it. When all you have is a crowbar, everything looks like a lock. Oh, come on. I'll go up. Alright. Even though I know I'm going to the right when I get through, it's going up. We got the key to Trixie's crow trailer. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Ow. Well, this is undignified. Very... Oh, boy. It's pink. It's very pink. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. A costume. It's a Stiltwalker's costume. Stiltwalker's costume, okay. It's a big closet. Trix I can't pick that up. Oops. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. Well, in the neck department, her clothes didn't need to be big. What on earth is that? It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. Gator Golf. Ah, great. Now I'm gonna have that stupid advertisement jingle stuck in my head. No, n not that! Blah. All right, let's get out of here. It's Max. Yes, yes. Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. <laughs> All right. Oh, a 
with that. It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. There's nothing else in here. Oh, okay, there was that hope chest. Well then, we have a new location to go to. So let's inspect it, shall we, huh? Okay. Oh, this is the only way to go? Fine. We'll go through the friggin' tent. We don't need to talk to you. And we now know that you were behind the whole disappearance thing. That must hurt. It does. I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. <laughs> Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can drop the act. We know it was your kerosene-soaked breath that freed Bruno. And we know that you sometimes go for days on the same pair of socks. Okay, you got me. Just don't tell my bosses. Maybe we should rat him out, Sam. The thought of him out in the streets drinking lighter fluid seems somehow ironic. It's scary to watch you wrestle with abstract concepts, Max. <laughs> How'd Trixie talk you into freeing Bruno? She charmed me with your feminine wiles. She also promised to pay me 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? Nope. Eh. Uh, good. Well, we've got a new place to inspect. So let's go inspect it. For inspection. Gator farm. <laughs> Ooh. Gators. This would look great in our office. So let's take it. I can't pick that up. Aww. Gator golf. Dunk the Beast is closed. It's about time they closed this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. Whatever it is, it's mine. I don't need a garbage can. Who's this chubby, chubby, jolly, chubby, jolly fellow? I find your combination of golfing and alligators almost Dolly-esque in its dissonance. Ditto. Wish it had been my idea. <laughs> Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. <laughs> Intelligent. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. I... Isn't that dangerous? Look at his hands. Take a look. Yep. Alright, this guy sounds like he'd know about Conroy Bumpus. What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. You're creepy. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. <laughs> so what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. Disappearing fed and sheltered. Bigfoots. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Acetylene? Protective ankle wear. Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Hmm. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? All right, let's see if he knows anything about... I can't use these things together. Let's see if he knows anything about this. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. Huh. Well then, we've got a number of alligators around here, don't we? I wonder if we can interest them in anything. I can't use these things together. It's a bucket of fish. Bucket of fish. What a weird way to say it. I can't. I can't. Oh, but it's a fish together. magnet. All right. Let's see if I can't interest some gators in some fish. Max, let's go. 